Hey guys, welcome back to another Coding Flamingo video. So in this video, we're going to take a look about how to implement FIDO2 in your Azure AD environment. So first, let's talk about why FIDO2 and what is it. FIDO2 is supposed to help reduce the reliance on passwords, which is what the FIDO Alliance created this protocol for. So the reason for that is there's a lot of attacks based on like phishing or password spraying or many other attacks that include a password. So we're trying to reduce the amount of passwords that users have. And one of the ways to do this is uh, with FIDO2, which basically is based on public key cryptography. The users get a hardware token. In this case, we're gonna use a YubiKey. I'll link some down below so you can see which ones I like using. And so basically the private key never leaves the YubiKey and then the public key goes to the server and is saved in the identity provider server. So basically with that, you can do the authentication without the server never knowing the password. So even if a password breach happens or something, the user passwords wouldn't be breached, just the public keys, which by definition are public and it's okay. I mean, having a breach is not okay, but it's better than having passwords out there and like prevents password reuse and so on. So enough about the protocol, let's get into how to implement it. So first we have to go into Azure Active Directory. And then we're gonna click into security. And uh, this has to be done with a global admin account, forgot to mention that. And then after security, we're gonna go into authentication methods. So in here you will see that I already have it enabled. In here we, we have different options that, that you might have obviously enabled target users, I recommend targeting all users, but uh, you might be just targeting a select number of users, either your admins or something. Um, and then allow self uh, setup. It has to be self setup. That's the only way that it's right now. Enforce attestation, this just to make sure that like Microsoft attests the device to be good. So I, I would return it. I would recommend turning it on. And then key restriction policy. So in here you can have some restrictions um, in the policies such as like allow or block certain devices. This could be used if you only allow a certain SKU from a certain company. Um, you can see here I added some of the A GUIDs. Um, these are from Ubico and like you can usually go into your company's website and uh, check the A E GUIDs. The block, I, I, it's either if you don't trust the company and it will be more in the future when uh, eventually something happens like Roka happened a few years ago that some SKU ends up being vulnerable to certain attacks and you might want to block those so your organization can't use those anymore. So here you would add the AAD GUIDs, further allow and block, and then you would click save and that's it. That's all in the admin side. Now for your users, you would instruct them to go into this site, myprofile.microsoft.com and they would log in with their credentials and then they have to click security info. So in here we're gonna update info and they have to have at least one MFA method other than uh, FIDO2 when it comes in. So I already added my authenticator app and here I'm just gonna add FIDO2 that they call it security key. I'm gonna go ahead and say next. I'm gonna edit this out and just put my code in. All right, so after I put the code, I have to choose which type of device I'm using. In this case, I'm using a USB device, so I'm just gonna click USB, and then I'm gonna click next. So in here, you have to follow the prompt as well. And in here, if it's the first time you're setting up something with this device, you'll have to create a pin. In this case, I have already created a pin. So I'm just gonna go ahead and enter it. And now this one requires some touch, uh, this specific YubiKey, so I'm just gonna touch it. And then I have to name it this in case you lose it or something so you know which one it is. It's usually recommended to have at least two devices so you can always recover your account. So we're just gonna name it this. And we're all set. So like now if I wanna log in, I'm just gonna do an incognito tag, go to portal. This is the 
good thing about it. I don't even have to put in my email and anything because it's registered to my email. I just click this sign in with security key. It asks me to enter my PIN. I just enter my, I just touch it. And that's it. It knows my account, it knows everything. I then have to put in my password, my username, makes it faster to log in, more secure to log in. And now I can even have a long complex password because I don't use it in my day to day. That's how you set up Fido Key. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.